Welcome back to another video here. Wendell Lee Well Services, thank you for tuning in. What we got for you today is a topic that is highly discussed and highly debated about whether they are necessary. That's these guys here, or torque arrestor. We're going to get into what they are, how to install them, and then to answer the most important question, are they necessary? All right, so let me get this other pack over here. What you see is this is a torque arrestor. All right, this is what typically comes in here, what we buy. It's got these pieces. Got these two clamps that come with it. And I'm gonna simulate this here, here in a little bit. But the point of this is, is your drop pipe or your roll pipe that's connected to your submersible pump come through here. You got these clamps that go on here that hold it, that keep them secured to your pipe. Stay tuned for that. I'm going to show you a little bit more detail in here. What do they do? Okay, so whenever a submersible pump starts up, there's torque that is involved from starting a motor up. Well, the torque is in the opposite direction of how your pipe is hooked on to your pump here. So I've got an old pump here for visual display purposes. Let's just say you're, you're hanging on Schedule 80 drop pipe here. You've got this tightened down. Well, every time your pump's cutting on, it's trying to twist like that. So there is a tendency or a theory out there that over time, this could, if your joints are not tight enough, twist enough. This is if they're not tight enough. The moral of the story is they should be tight enough toward the proper specifications, which on a one horsepower pump or less is at least 15 pounds, that they could screw off. Now, so the point of this is, and I'm going to show this here in a little bit, how to install it, is this is installed, and as this pump turns on, these pieces of this rubber boot here catch on the outside of the hole and keep it from, it's called a arrestor because it keeps the torque down from torquing your joint. This is the most important joint here, which is where your piping is going to experience the most torque right here at the pump. So that's what they do. Let's get into how they're installed. All right, get ready, Brian. Oh, you'll have to do some editing on this portion. Yeah, I'm gonna get an impact. Is that too tall here? That's all right, ain't it? Well, that's all right. Yeah, you'll know when to do it. Let's see. All right, so here we go. 
So I've got a piece of weld casing here and I'm going to simulate into a weld casing. So I'm just going to tighten this down for video editing purposes to the pipe. All right. That will keep it from going everywhere. So the point of this is these torque arresters are suitable in welds from four to eight inch. Okay. So the point of this is you can see there's a lot of play here. That's not going to do anything. So, you know, people always say, well, how do I know what size my casing is? And, and how do I know how big to make it? Well, that's where this comes into play. So you want to take this and flare it out, push down on it. So it acts as a torque arrestor. So I'm going to stop it about right there and thread this in there just because I've done it a little while. All right. So the point of it is don't flare it out too big because if you flare it out too big, it's going to be like this, and it's not going to want to go down. It's going to want to hang. You'll have issues getting your pump out. But at the same time, you don't want to make it too small where it's just crushed up in here and not doing anything. You want to make it about the right size. Again, what did I talk about before? The point of these is, is as the motor spins, these cleats here just kind of catch like that. They're not catching against the casing. They're catching against the side of the hole and eliminating the torque. So they're going to be installed, you know, obviously this is a short piece of pipe. They're going to be installed a little bit above this and flared out like that. And then your wiring will be going up by the torque arrestor and up to the top of the well like so. Now, are they necessary? Uh, they provide a peace of mind for you. Typically, if you're talking most residential applications, a pump, you know, below 1.5 horsepower, you're not really talking about that much torque as far as a pump starting up. Um, I've seen a many of pumps. We generally don't use them unless they're large pumps, you know, over 1.5 horsepower. Sometimes we'll use them on 1.5 horsepower if it's on a on a deeper setting, but generally speaking, we don't use these unless it's on a, on a larger pump. Is that to say that they're not necessary and can provide some benefit? No, that's not to say that. Do they work well? Yes, they work well. Don't cost a lot of money, but are they necessary on most residential applications? No. They're not. You're not going to see enough torque here from this pump if you've tightened your pipe right to ensure that this pump over time is going to torque itself enough to spin off. But we do install them most of the time on a 1.5 horsepower or larger. They're, they don't cost a lot of money. They work well but there is a place for them. And generally speaking, in most applications, they're probably not necessary. So feel free to leave your comments and let me know if y'all use these. I'm sure you have. Let me know what you think about them. Again, you know, you can kind of take this. I know not all wells are six and a quarter inch casing. Some of them are smaller, some of them are bigger. These can, you know, you can kind of take this and run this run this uh, stainless steel clamp here up and down to whatever size you need to flare this out to. So feel free to leave us your comments, let you know what you think about these. Um, just wanted to bring it up because I've, I hear about it every now and then about people saying, well, are you going to put a torque arrestor on it? Well, you know, it's half horse pump set 100, 100, 120 feet. No, we're not really worried about torquing it because we're torquing our joints the proper way to where nothing's going to come off.
but if you've got a bigger application, something like a three or five horse, that's a little bit of a different story. And, you know, most of the time, if you've got a bigger application anyways, you're not going to be hanging it on plastic. You're going to be hanging it on steel. And steel, for the most part, can handle a whole lot more torque than plastic can. So just keep that in mind when talking about these. Thanks for tuning in. Leave us your comments. Check us out at As always, thank you for watching. Appreciate you.